Okay, so you firstly need to make a square of some sort. This piece of timber is uh, the shorter side is 90 millimetres, 900 millimetres, so I'm going to make it 900 by 900. So I just uh, cut a perfect square using my circular saw and then um, I need to draw a couple of diagonals. So I just found anything straight that I can draw a couple of diagonals with some from one corner to the other and then the opposite corner to the opposite corner. So you end up with a cross in the middle, which is actually the middle point, the middle point of the square. And I've got this jig here, which uh, there's instructions on how to make a jig, but it's a bit like a compass that you can slot your jigsaw into. Um, so you drill a hole in the middle of the board and then you line up the jig so that it'll draw a circle around the board, maximizing the space. My, uh, the radius of my circle there is about uh, 44 centimeters. Um, 440 millimetres and then you chuck the jigsaw in and after drilling a hole straight through you can put the jigsaw blade through and then you can cut a really round awesome circle. Uh, you'll have a slight tiny little indentation where you drilled the hole if you're really fussy there's a ways around that but uh, I've found for sumo wrestling battle bot boards it doesn't matter if there's a little indentation on the very edge of one part of it. So you cut out the circle and then uh, you've got yourself a nice round board and then you have to spray paint it. So I've spray painted it completely black because most of my circle is going to be black when I'm doing the battle bots. And then after I've painted it black, I cut another circle out which is slightly smaller, a couple of centimetres smaller in diameter so that you can actually put that circle on top of the dried paint and make a white ring around the outside by having a smaller circle there it acts like a template that you can add the white paint to so you put a bolt in the middle to hold it in place and then you take it to wherever you're spray painting and you get out the white spray paint give it a good shake as you always do with spray paint and then you can easily do a nice white border around the edge of your black circle. So it should be a couple of centimeters. Um, doesn't really matter. Two or three centimeters is, is a good thickness for the circle on the outside. Um, so your diameter when you cut the circle would just be a little bit smaller. I mean, it's not rocket science. It doesn't have to be a precise measurements. Just use what you've got. Take it off before it dries, I reckon. And then just let it sit there and dry for a while. On the opposite side of the board, I put some Velcro in a position like this, and then I've made a, a wooden frame with the Velcro lining up around the wooden frame. So this will help your robot stay off, uh, the board stay off the ground a little bit. It'll help raise the board off the ground a bit, so the battles are a bit more dramatic if it's off the ground a bit. Then I made another frame, because I've got two boards. So I made another frame that fits inside the first frame, and attach that to the back of the other board and if you do that then it's pretty awesome there's also this frame i made which is basically has an interior of 30 by 30 centimeters the two top parts of the square are 34 centimeters and then you slot a couple of 30 centimeter pieces in there uh, and then the whole interior will then be 30 by 30 so 34 centimeters times two and 30 centimeters times two put them together so the top edges uh, 34 and then you'll have a nice square and that can be velcroed inside another square too look at that so when we're transporting them they should just all slot together now nice and easy like this slot them together and you've got two battle boards ready to transport and you can actually um, wheel them along the ground like a big wheel if you like or you can just carry them together um, but I found that it's pretty handy to have them fit together like that because then you can just wheel them into the classroom and then when you're ready to use them, you can take them apart and you've got two battle arenas, woohoo, ready to go. The cool thing about having that wood underneath is that it lifts the board off the ground a little bit so the battles become a little bit more exciting and dramatic when someone loses, their robot falls onto the floor and it's easy to decide the winner. If you like this video, check out my other ones. I've got some cool tips on how to use the light sensor and other great videos using Lego Spike Prime.